everybody's doing good. Um, I've been making this new pizza crust. I got it from a YouTuber. My son watched him. He tried it, and he sent the link to me, and I watched it, and I tried it. It's really good, and I was talking about it, and I had some people that wanted me to show them how, how, how I make it. Um, so I'm going to make a pizza crust. I'm basically making a pizza. And I will link the channel below of the, the first video of this. Because I don't take credit for it. It wasn't my ideal. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know we're making pizza. We are going to start with a cup and a half of self-rising flour. So that's one cup and a half. The other ingredient is one cup of Greek yogurt. It can be any Greek yogurt, any brand that you like. It's got to be Greek plain, though you'll want to get plain. I happen to be using the Great Value brand. And we're going to use one cup. This is 5.3 ounces in a container, so that's a little more than a cup, <laughs> just a little bit. So let me get that measured out so I can make sure. And if there's any leftovers, I'll just put it in a smoothie. It won't go to waste because there's not going to be that much left, trust me, if any. It's really pretty here today. I hope it's pretty where you are. My son says it's raining like crazy down there in Florida. So, you know, they got that tropical stuff moving in from um, off of the ocean. So, I always buy two of these. Now, you can buy the big containers uh, if you eat the plain yogurt. Uh, Greek yogurt and then that way you can just take what you need out of it so but I don't usually keep yogurt so there's a cup I have a little bit left I will put that in a uh, a smoothie and my hands are clean you guys trust me and besides just me and my husband so it doesn't matter right no I'm just kidding just... get that off okay let's put that in here And that's it. Those two ingredients is all you need for this pizza. The crust. Let me just mix it up. It will come together, trust me. Might take a few minutes of work in it. But it will come together. If you have a mixer, that um, stand-up mixer, it probably would come together a lot quicker. But I just use a fork or a spoon or whatever works. And if that don't work, y'all, I throw my fingers in there and do it. Now it looks like a bunch of little little balls, but it's all can mixed together. And this is the way he did it on his channel. I mean, I 
There's my oven letting me know that it's up to temperature. Okay. Now, um, we're going to cover this and we're going to let it set for 15 minutes and do whatever it, it does. Okay. Okay. So, let me set this over here on the stove because it's a warm spot. I'm going to cover it. We're just going to set it on the stove and we're going to wait 15 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll roll it out. Okay, you guys, we're back. I it's been 15 minutes. I spray a little bit of my olive oil non-stick spray on my hands so that I can but see how easy this comes together I almost did it before I turned the camera back on and I thought oops I gotta turn my camera on so but I mean after it sets for just a few minutes it's it's real it just comes together you know it's moist so then you take it and I'm doing a square and all you gotta do you guys is just work with it until you get it where you want it I'm gonna see if my rolling pin will help me just a little put just a little oil on it don't know if it's gonna work for me or not it <laughs> probably move all over the place because last time I made it it was kind of hard to uh, to mash, but I think part of that, you guys, is the okay. The more you mash it, um, the thinner it will get. It just takes a lot of work, you guys. That's all. I tried the rolling pin; that didn't work. <laughs> it's easier to just work the the dough. And if it goes to getting sticky, a little too sticky, just kind of spray it just a little, you know, just, just enough to where it won't stick on your hands. And just keep working it, because it will spread out. Even though it doesn't look like there's a lot there, <laughs> it spreads. And when it cooks, it's, it, it's nice, because... Or it was the last time I did it. <laughs> now, I didn't do a square one last time. I did a, a round one. So, I don't know how... I'm, I don't think this is going to go all the way, but... I'm going to take it as much as I can because we like our... We like our pizza crust thin. So... Just keep working it, and working it, and working it. Now, I'm going to stop there. It's pretty thin. And I don't want it to be so thin that it tears up. And that's plenty big enough pizza for, for uh, two people. Well, for me and my husband, put it that way. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Now, you can use any kind of cheese you want for your pizza. I use this low-fat, the, the low-moisture part skin mozzarella from Walmart. And I just use uh, the, the Great Value Stuff Rising Flour. So, what, what I do here is I put a little bit on here to spread it over the pizza crust. Not a lot, just, just a thin layer. I wish I could figure out, it would be neat if there was a low carb version of this. I know you can use almond flour and make it low carb, but I just don't know. We don't eat pizza enough for me really to worry about it, I guess. I'm sorry for the background noise. I had to turn the fan on over the stove because of the um, 
the heat because it's warm outside. Okay, so after I do this, I add a little pizza sauce. I think I have some of this already open. We'll use up what I have here. It's the uh, Cla Classo pizza crust. Anyway, it's the Classo. This is the out the out of date, and I just used this recently, so it's still good. So I'm going to use up the rest of this before I dig into the new jar. And there again, you can put as much on or as little. I don't know how much y'all want on your pizza. I don't like a whole lot. I want it to cover the pizza. But I don't want it so much of the sauce on there that I can't taste my toppings. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to spread this out and I am going to need some of this so just take that all the way out to the edge hope I'm not boring you guys when somebody asks me to do something on my channel, I try to do it, and someone asked me for this, so I'm trying to keep my friends happy. Anyway, there we go. It didn't take a lot, just a little bit, about a half a cup between the two and see this one isn't even empty it's still got a little bit in it okay now on my pizza I'm going to put some green peppers I do things a little different I put this on and then I'll add my meat <laughs> And I like a lot of pepper, so my husband does too, so I usually pepper it up. I forgot to order mushrooms when I did my grocery shopping this week, so I didn't have any mushrooms. But then I have onions, and I did put these in, in uh, the frying pan um, and kind of brown them up a little. It kind of brings the sweetness out in them. I don't know why I'd want sweetness, right? But anyway, it's my onions. Okay, and then I'm going to add some pepperoni. Just any kind of pepperoni that you like. It just happens to be the one that I purchased. And that's all I'm putting on there. This is good. I remember when I worked in the bakery at Walmart before I retired, we made uh, bread that had pepperoni in it. And it was hard not to snack on it. And then I have some sausage that I'm going to add. And you can put as much or as little as you want on your pizza. 
because it's all about making it the way you like it. And then I have some tomatoes I'm going to add. They're just great tomatoes that I quartered. I guess you'd say I quartered them. <laughs> anyway, I cut them up. I'm hoping this turns out as good as my last one did. So, we'll see. All right, now we're gonna top this baby with some more cheese. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you need to start checking it at 10 minutes because the pizza doesn't take long, especially if it's not very thick. You don't wanna burn it. I think that's enough of the cheese. I like a lot of cheese on my pizzas too. So. Alright, let's, let's call that ready for the oven. Might as well have to use all this cheese, you guys. Put it all around the edges. No need in saving just a tiny bit. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this in the oven, and when I pull it out, I'll show you the finished pizza. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we got our pizza out of the oven. Doesn't that look good? That looks really, really yummy, y'all. And now, it, it'll look like, because I, I rolled it out so thin, it looks like it got a little bit browner around the edges. But I checked it. It is not burnt at all. Trust me. <laughs> so, let's see. Get a knife. I have a pizza cutter, but believe it or not, the darn thing don't work that good, so I do better with a knife. We're just going to cut a, a piece of it. It's hot, yummy. I'm not going to cut the whole thing, but I am going to cut off a little bit. I have got to invest in me a good pizza cutter, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Looks yummy. Okay. Lots of good yummy cheese. Okay. Now, silence. Got a Dollar Tree haul. Got to do my pizza. I think it might be cool enough now to where it won't burn my mouth off. So, we'll see. So, we shall see. Oh, no, that's good. Yep, that was as good as the last time. Just as good, just as good. See that crust, y'all? It's not burnt right here. It's a little browner because of the fact that it's a thin crust. But underneath, just perfect. And it's not all greasy. 
You know how cre greasy pizza crust can get? It's not. <laughs> it's not all greasy at all. So, I. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. Y'all should try this. That pizza crust. It's the easiest pizza crust I have ever made in my whole life. I always hated doing pizza crust because it took a lot of work. But not this. Not this at all. This is really easy. I mean, it's two ingredients. And then you just put your toppings on. Alright, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this, this video, and I hope you'll try this pizza crust. I will link the original uh, YouTube uh, channel in the link below in their descriptions. If y'all want to check out his channel and subscribe to it, he has a lot of different recipes. Um, but this one, this is good. And this is going to be my lunch. And my supper tonight because that's what I made. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Leave me a comment and I'll answer it. God bless each one of you. Welcome to my channel if you're new and I hope you'll come back. We got a Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to be doing a project. I've got some pocket letters to do, so I might bring you guys along and work on pocket letters with me. Okay, I'll catch you later in the next video. Bye, y'all.